let's let's now start and, and hear from our new members from the product team. And during the leader council meeting, we got to hear from him. And I think that what I can say for sure is that each and every one of you are going to be very proud uh, to have uh, a man like him uh, part of our company and representing what we re represent. Now, to, he's, he's going to go into his background himself, but uh, just to give you a quick overview, you know, he spent his entire career uh, working in both clinical and high performance sports environments. Now, as a clinical exercise psychologist, he's worked in all aspects of acute care and rehabilitation. Now, after this, he worked extensively in sports rehabilitation and over the past four years as a research lead in Greater Manchester, working with the health innovations team and specializing in the treatment and reversal of type two di diabetes through exercise and nutrition modalities and likewise enhancing a treatment outcomes for cancer patients. Now, with regards to the sports performance, he's worked in every aspect of strength and conditioning from uh, rugby to wrestling to wheelchair basketball and counter sports in between at both national and international levels of competition. As an environmental psychologist, he has prepared numerous global adventures to undertake unimaginable challenges from climbing Mount Everest to rowing the Atlantic and as such, Dr. Collins, as his name is, we're going to reveal it soon, has become a go-to specialist. Over the past 20 years, he's traveled the globe to speak at extensive number of international conferences, including TEDx on issues and topics ranging from nutrition, chronobiology, athlete preparation, and the changing state of health in Western industrialized nations. Now, you could probably guess that we are dealing with a tremendous guy here. And I am so excited to have Dr. Colin Robertson part of our team. So would you, uh, with your own words, tell us even more about your background? Because I know that it's even more than I, <laughs> that I just mentioned, as well as also digging a little bit into why you chose Zenzino, uh, and maybe also tell us about your product testimony. Hilda, thank you, thank you very, very much. Um, I was listening to that, and I and I was thinking, who who is that person that's being described? Those years have kind of flown by. But hello, um, where are we on? Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for taking time to listen to me today. And I can see some familiar names and faces from over the past couple of months of getting to know the Zinzino family. So I I will apologise in advance if I start to tell you things that you've heard me say in other places. And I'll definitely apologize if I say something that's slightly different to how I said it last time, because I try and kind of put it all together. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been busy for the past quarter of a century, which makes me feel old when I put it that way. Um, and I've worked in everything, literally from clinical exercise physiology, so helping people to overcome post treatment and post-clinical care with regards to cardiovascular disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, stroke, operations, every, every, everything you can imagine within a big district general hospital setting, all the way through to things that I'm really, really proud of because they were the kind of things I dreamt of as, as a young boy in Liverpool, which is preparing athletes to take part in the Olympic Games. I've been really fortunate to help athletes to prepare for Beijing, London and Rio and be able to be in those environments and watch them take part and take medals home, which is just, it's an incredible journey. And yeah, I've worked with international rugby teams, Ireland World Cup 2008, I've worked with national teams, um, prepared several people, very fortunate, prepared several people to climb Everest, K2, Cotopaxi, um, row the Atlantic, row across the Pacific. I always forget the Pacific. I, think, I always forget to mention the Pacific because the Atlantic is tougher. The Pacific is actually quite pleasant. The Atlantic's the horrible one. So I always tell people about the Atlantic, but I've trained people to row that as well. And actually, one that I always forget about is I trained a guy two years ago to swim from um, Spain to Africa. 
So he swam straight across there, uh, which was a, quite an undergoing. So anything environmental physiology, if the environment you're in is trying to kill you or there, there are things in that environment that might kill you, sharks and stuff, that's where people give me a shout. But the stuff I'm really proud of and the stuff that I've really focused on is health and helping populations um, with regards to improving their health because that's that I think is one of the biggest challenges mankind humankind faces in the 21st century you know we've we've advanced in a lot of ways but the cost of that has been our health so I'm very fortunate to sat on the Greater Manchester Health Innovations Board as a research lead cities changing diabetes as a global strategy um, Act of Cheshire, which is a county-wise project here at home in the UK. I've been a member of the Westminster Forum in London with regards to trying to drive that political change around how health and physical activity is done in the UK. Um, and I'm a part of the Advanced Clinical Practice Group, which works with Health Education England, which is all about upskilling clinical practitioners so that they can better support people in rehabilitation with regards to their exercise, physical activity and their nutrition. And I'm a researcher. I like to research and publish research. I've contributed to plenty of, of research publications in the area of nutrition. A lot of my research focuses on fatigue. That's what I'm really fascinated with, either with regards to the fatigue that people experience in the wake of a chronic illness or the fatigue that people get when they're training to go to the Olympics or to climb Everest. So I like to look at that, that factor of fatigue. So I think in a broad sweep, that, that covers pretty much a lot of what I've been busy and, and getting up to. I've been really fortunate to be based at a lot of really good academic institutes in my time from University of Wales, Liverpool John Moores University, Liverpool University, University of Chester, Oxford, Manchester, Bolton. I've you know, had some really good positions and, and worked as a senior academic and been able to research and collaborate in those areas. So I've been really fortunate. I've learned a lot from that with regards to how we conduct research and what we need to do. So all that aside, why was I happily doing all that, minding my own business, and then ended up here as a part of Zinzino? Well, and again, anyone who's heard me say this before, feel free to press mute or whatever it is you need to do to me to not listen. But back in April 2020, we'd been a few weeks into lockdown. I was here in my little special place, my little study at home where I like to work and, and while away the hours. And I was working on an epigenetics project. And in particular, I was looking at Omega-3. And I was writing up a big document, which was to convince numerous partners, health partners, as to why we needed to start to tell people to increase their omega-3 intake. And I knew that a part of the problem was diet, people being able to access that type of food. And the other part of the problem was that fish oil doesn't do what it's meant to do. You know, the average fish oil product just doesn't, doesn't make much, enough of a difference. So I was writing up this epigenetics research project and I got a phone call and there's not, when I'm if I'm honest with you, when I'm working away on something and I'm, and I'm buried in it, there are very few people who can ring me that I'll answer the call to. But this was one of them. Old friend of mine, Tony O'Neill, who is legend of a guy, had very senior positions in companies like BMW, Adidas, Under Armour, um, had a huge position in that, moved across from Under Armour to Timberland. So has worked at a very high executive level in, in big companies, really, that are sales orientated but has had a few health issues. And he rung me up and said, Carl, I need you to answer a question for me. Um, someone has put a product on my radar for my health. Um, and I, I, I think I should be taking it. And I'm really interested in the business because I think that the way this business works is the future as how business will be done. So I said, Tony, I know nothing about business whatsoever, but what's the product? And I'll be honest with you, when people ask me about products, it normally takes me five minutes. I grab, I grab my pad, have a look, write down five reasons why it's rubbish, and then tell them it's rubbish. And I go back to my life, and they go back to theirs. But he said to me, he said, it's a company called Zinzino, and it's an Omega-3 product. And I thought, well, that's interesting, because I'm, I'm literally just writing up about Omega-3. 
So I thought, okay, I'll go and have a look because it was a good mate of mine. So that was the first time I'd heard the word. And I punched the words into my Google search engine and the website came up and I thought, no problem. This will take me five minutes. I'll go and tell them why you should not bother with this. But straight away, I realized that this was entirely different. So all the things that I'd criticized the fish oil industry for, all the things that I was concerned about with regards to health were being addressed here. The product, I said this earlier on, I'm going to say it straight away now, there was a simplicity to the product that was genius and no one had done it. And it was the part that mattered because we knew that if you isolate the omega-3 from a polyphenol, the omega-3 is likely to get damaged in the stomach by the air, rubbish. And here we had a product that was bound to a polyphenol, had vitamin D in it, also omega-9. It was weight dependent. So there was a dosage allowance to it. So straight away, I, I was interested. So I started to look even more. And then after a few while, I, I rung Tony back and I said, Tony, this is going to take me a couple of days. I need, I need to look at this properly because this looks incredible. But without getting excited, I want to have a real look at it. And that's what I did. So I took my time and I went through every page, every ingredient, every certification. I checked that certification at the place and I was literally blown away. I was blown away because for a long time I'd stood at international conferences and I'd, I'd written journal articles about this saying to people, we in the 21st century, we have the technology to do food better. We should be giving people solutions for their health. We've got all the intelligence, all the technology, but no one does it. Why aren't we doing it? And then there I was looking at this website that was doing it and doing it brilliantly. And then I looked at who was involved from a scientific board point of view, realized that they were best in class and excellent. So it all started to make sense. So then I got asked by Vibeka Parr. Vibeka said, Colin, would you come on? We're doing this talk. Would you come on and just talk about the science? That's all. So I said, okay, I'm happy to talk about the science. And then I did one and then did two. Then I think I'd done about 10. And I was going on and chatting to really nice people and just explaining the signs. And it was good because I, I, I've never sold a Zendino product in my life. I wasn't representing Zendino. I was just representing the signs. And I was on there as a researcher saying, you should take this. And to put that in context, when I realized exactly what this was, the first thing I did was actually say to my wife, you need to take this and the children, you, we need to get this and we need to take it because this is gonna change your health. My wife had, had a few health issues up until then that were building up, had three children. She was starting to get joint ache. She was starting to have disrupted sleep, um, low level inflammation kind of symptoms, easily bruising. And we tried lots of things. I'm a nutritionist, I'm a registered nutritionist and an exercise specialist. We tried lots of things and it wasn't really improving much. And somebody asked me this on the call early this morning, so I'm going to explain it now. We got our delivery of, of balance oil and a few other bits. And within 10 days of starting to take that balance oil, my wife's health was transformed. So with my research head on, everything makes sense. It's all completely legitimate and is doing what it should do. And then at home, I'm watching my wife just go from strength to strength to strength feeling better no i mean now no symptoms whatsoever sleeping well full of energy no more fatigue so you know and we'd done the test and her original score was off the scale so i was really in that point of going i don't need any more convincing about this this is exactly what people should be doing to improve their health so i'd done a load of talks and then I had to say, look, you know, I do have a full time job and, and lots of things. I can only do so much of this. And, and I actually said for a while, I don't want to get involved with Zinzino because whilst I'm not involved, I can genuinely tell people take their product because I'm not biased. It's got nothing to do with me. Just take the product, take the balance oil because your health is going to be better. You're going to improve. In fact, 
a good um, a shared friend of of ours to neil parsley who is like one of the world's leading strength and conditioning coaches he was on the call when i spoke to tony again to say tony you should take this 100 percent. this is going to help um and i said to neil and neil works with the top flight athletes to this day and you know lots of people listen to neil he's he's a he's a leading voice in human performance i said neil your athlete should take this you know this is certified it's batch set it's safe and it's really effective so i really became quite a convert overnight but then fortunately things kind of developed and i had a really good chat with orion and doug on on a zoom which went really well and i realized what, what kind of good guys they were and what and what really what the vision was for zinzino and what and what it was about and then i met henrique and Ida from the product team and they were incredible first time i met them and they were just brilliant we just had a chat and we talked about research and science and product and then doug invited me over to um sweden Dag being Dag didn't say, Colin, could you come over at some time in the near future? Said to me, Colin, could you come over tomorrow? And I was working away in Manchester and was like, well, it might be a bit tricky, but I'm sure I can make it happen. And then next day I was on a flight and then I arrived and got to the head office. And I said this earlier on, and it's true, you know, I walked in and within seconds, there was Doug, there was Jacob, there was Henrik, um, there was, and we just sat off and it was like meeting up with old friends. For the first half an hour, 40 minutes, they just cracking jokes, taking the mick out of me, my accent, football team, where it was, what, you know, it was, it was like, a, it was literally genuinely like just meeting up with old friends. And we had a really good laugh and a chat and got to know each other and then spent two and a half days really looking at what Zendina was about, what their ambition was, what their values were, and I was blown away. And I say this all the time, but I'll say it again. You know, I've worked a lot in team environments, whether it's with the military, elite special forces, international rugby teams, football teams, Olympic athletes. A team is about trust. I promise you, everything else can be figured out you can figure any other part out it's about trust and everybody having that faith in everybody doing their part and really being a part of what everyone's trying to do and that just came across in bucketfuls from from that from those two and a half days and from everyone i met and then i was really fortunate that you know doug and, and henrik said we'd like you to come on board with us we've got a position here with regards to the product team and research and what you could bring to it and i didn't have to think you know i've been working away for 20 25 years trying to change people's health and we've been losing the fight let's be honest in in the in the in my lifetime health statistics have only got worse and the reason being getting people to, to overhaul their diet getting people to change how they behave is so so difficult it's nearly impossible because people get subjected to five thousand adverts per day telling them something different and you're trying to get them to you know cook everything from fresh and have fresh fish every day and exercise and all this you know we change tiny bits and i know for a fact that a part of the solution going forward is to give people a workable solution that doesn't mean you change your life you just take this take this once a day and you will change your health, literally. They're the kind of solutions that the world is crying out for. So for me, I only ever got into this because I wanted to make the world a better place because I wanted people to have a better quality of life and a better life. And we can do that through health. And so that's why when the opportunity came to join Zenzino, it was a no brainer. I, I could write research articles for the next 50 years and that much will change. In the two months that I've been at Zinzino, we've probably already changed that much. And we'll just grow it and grow it and grow it over time. You know, it's powerful to be able to give people a solution. So yeah, so I'll wrap up by saying I am I am proud as Punch to be here. I, I really am working with such incredible people who just inspire me on a daily basis. They're so driven and so passionate and believe in what they do. It's incredible. And it's challenging, but it's great challenge because you have to be on your game. You've got to, you know, it's best in class and second place doesn't even get considered. 
So I hope oh, as we develop is to support you guys with getting a clear message out, support what it is that you're trying to do, and also help the team. You know, the, the team is based off a notion of constant improvement. And I hope to play a part in that just to refine and improve and make sure that we stay at the very leading edge of what health supplementation, intelligent food supplementation is all about. So forgive me if I've forgotten anything, but I am absolutely stoked to be here and I look forward to working with you all down the line. Thanks for listening to me waffle on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>